We just each have this incredible, incredible opportunity. Uh, the most important choice and the most important opportunity to take up, which is to, to go and recognize open intelligence right here. And this recognition of open intelligence is an opportunity which re reaches us regardless of what age we are, regardless of what background we come from, regardless of who we are and what we're thinking, what kind of thoughts we think, um, whether, they're, whether you consider them as the most damaged thoughts or the most elated thoughts. The, the reality is we each share this incredible opportunity and we each share this incredible opportunity to recognize open intelligence. And this is an opportunity that you can take up right now and you can test right now. And I invite you to test it right now, regardless of how long you've been here, been coming to these meetings, regardless of how new you, you, you are here, regardless of what type of day you're having, regardless of, of what type of data streams are arriving right in your chairs right now. Allow everything to be as it is. Recognize open intelligence. To recognize open intelligence, if you're, if you're very new to, to this teaching, then just simply stop thinking. Just simply stop thinking and recognize that there is this basic alertness that is so primary to all of us, to each of us that we all share. This basic alertness is uh, allowing us to perceive this power to, this power to know. This is open intelligence. And this is the case regardless of whether you have the most afflictive data streams coming up or whether you are having a, a Sunday morning data stream of just everything is fine and dandy. <laughs> so, so regardless of what data streams are arising, regardless of your descriptions, recognize open intelligence. This is where we, we find our greatest power and our greatest ability to, to act skillfully in the world, to bring about that, that change that I was looking for in my life and in society as well. And so if we are having afflictive data streams, so data, you can just simply know as whatever thought is occurring, whatever emotion, whatever sensation is arising. This is a simple word to just uh, encapsulate all that we experience. Everything that we experience, we can simply uh, title as data. And we can allow each and every data stream to, to flow along by allowing everything to be as it is. All of our data streams, all of our thoughts and emotions and sensations, they can be just like the, the sky and the color blue and air are inseparable. We can liken open intelligence, data, and our beneficial potency, our ability to be bene beneficial in the world as inseparable. <coughs> so that was something incredible. Not only was I allowing everything to be as it is through my reliance on open intelligence, I was also empowering myself to recognize that I am an innately beneficial. So I'm not just sitting here allowing everything to be as it is in some kind of weird state of I don't know what. But I'm recognizing that I'm a human being and that I'm naturally inclined to just benefit myself and everyone else as well. And I know exactly how to do that in, in exactly every moment. And that was incredible that we are each, uh, that, that, that is our reality when we allow everything to be as it is. So what I, th what I thought from an intellectual standpoint, allowing everything to be as it is, was totally different from an, from an instinctive uh, recognition. So our, our invitation in, in, in Balanced View is to invite you to instinctively recognize open intelligence in your everyday life. So you, you may come to the meetings and you, you may get, gain uh, intellectual understanding or, or not, but what is, what is incredible is to just test out the instructions and to gain an instinctive recognition of open intelligence in your everyday life. 
and there is a, a specific support structure that, uh, that empowers you to do this. A specific support structure that empowers open intelligence in everyday life beyond the, beyond the realms of it just being an intellectual assumption, an intellectual idea, which was an incredible relief for me. Something that worked, thank goodness. Something that worked in my day-to-day -day life. Something that had results, something that I could actually go to for, for everyday life um, experiences like feeling incredibly afflictive, feel, feeling all of those emotions and sensations, having loved ones that are ill, being ill myself, um, all of these incredible experiences that we go, to, go through from day-to-day -day life. Finally, there was something that I could take on as an instinctive recognition and an instinctive support. So I have, and, and as all of you have, the opportunity of a, a teaching, a simple practice, a trainer and a community. This is called the Four Mainstays and it's a support structure to see open intelligence in your everyday life quite simply. And so when I was thinking about how can I be of benefit in the world, I, before re re relying on open intelligence and before coming to No Balance View, I immediately just stopped there. I, I gave up as soon as I thought of that. I saw many people, many past uh, experiences of organisations, people wanting to do great, um, societies here and there, and, and I didn't see solutions or results in my experience. And so I stopped right there. I said, this is not, it's not possible. I may as well just focus on how I can cultivate as much positive experience as I can throughout my day and, and, uh, and, and have a good life of that. And then to find a, a direct practice and a community, a support structure, a teacher that I could go to, to empower this beneficial change in myself and not only uh, a, 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 a mediocre change, an, in, an incredible change that then I just saw it was uh, beyond my control to not speak about this. It was beyond my control to not go out and, and, and share it in my everyday life through my example and through my speech, and through my actions and through everything that I was involved in. And so that's when I saw, okay, this has the great power that I've always wanted to, to beneficially empower society. This, this has the power to offer that social change that I was so desperate for. And then I see so many other people very desperate for as well. And so I, I, uh, my life drastically changed, I could say. My life drastically changed and I, I had never really uh, considered my life would, would look like this. I had many different ideas and, and assumptions of, of what I could do and, and what I could um, yeah, just do with my time. And then to see that my life is like this now and, and what uh, my day-to-day -day life is, it's quite remarkable. Afflictive states was something that uh, really solidified how much my relationship ha has changed with myself and with everyone. So these afflictive states like sadness, depression, loneliness, um, I could list, it, list them on and on, anxiety, all of these afflictive states gradually uh, and sometimes directly became potent reminders that I am innately beneficial and that I can recognise open intelligence. So where first, firstly I would see that before relying on open intelligence I would have something come up in my day and then that would be it. I would be focused in on these sensations, I would be thinking about them, thinking about how I can change them, thinking about what I did to, to have these come up, what the other person did to have these come up and, and how I could change them different, so many different lines to go, go in and so many different tunnels to go down. But with the opportunity to simply recognise open intelligence, 
with each and every afflictive state, we have that reminder now that we can either go into those endless tunnels of uh, focusing in on these data streams, these descriptions, description after description after description. Have you ever noticed that they just don't stop coming? <laughs> so I've got to the bottom of this now. And then wait, there's another description. There's just one more description. I've just got to sort this out. I've got this one more description to go. And I'm, I've really, I'm on top of this afflictive state. I'm so good. And then, oh, okay. There's a whole nother, a whole nother realm of, of, of more descriptions. And this is how it is with, 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 with data. Why? Because all data, all data can be likened to a mirage. It can be likened to a rainbow in space. So when we're chasing after these mirages, these data streams, no wonder why it's so frustrating. No wonder why we don't, I, I found I did, just didn't get anywhere in my analysis of this data stream. And now that I do have the proper education, I can allow everything to be as it is. I can allow each and every data stream to remind me that open intelligence is always on, quite simply. So if you have a persistent afflictive state, you can be reminded that you're persistently beneficial. <laughs> you have a persistently open and clear mind. So what a great opportunity you have. What an incredible life you have of, of potent benefit. Really, this is the proper education in the nature of mind. This is taking up the right to not be a victim of these data streams. This is a perfect empowerment of human nature.